Okay, so for today's assignment, we're going to be using the count functions, and we're going to be creating a list, so it's kind of cool. Um, let me move this up a smidgen so you can see the top. All right, so in cell A2, you're going to type the heading student name, and then you're going to go up here between A and B, and you're going to double click. You know when it has a little straight line and the arrows, double click that. So we'll autofill. Okay, in cell B2, you're going to type graduation year. And in cell C2, you're going to type plans. And you're going to double click. Okay, so over here in N1, you're going to type in um, work. And in 2, you're going to type in community college. In in three, you're going to type in four-year college. Okay. So over here under plans, we're going to create a validated list. And we're going to do that from um, cell C3 all the way down to C13. So you're going to highlight those cells. We're going to go to data. We're going to click on data validation. Click data validation again. Any value? No. We're going to click list. The source is right here. The source is N1 to N3. And you click OK. Now you have your validated list. Okay, so you're going to select from A3 down to A13. You're going to click on the home ribbon and you're going to do all borders. Okay, so what you're going to do now, you're going to survey your classmates. You're going to get their names, their first name and last name, their graduation year. You're going to just type that in, you know, graduation year from high school. And you're going to find out what their plans are. We're going to automatic, we're just going to make column C bigger. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to do that. Um, I'm going to pause this, well, pause the video, um, and then when you come back to it, it'll tell you how to do the rest of it. Okay, so as you can see, I've already filled in my information here. So what you're going to do, if you notice, mo some of you might have information that will not all fill in column A. So you're going to go up to the top of the column between A and B, Get that straight line and arrows on each side and double click it. It will automatically fit it so it's um, the correct size. So we're going to use the count function. Let's do down here count. Okay, so we're going to insert a, so go to the, sorry, click on column A. You're going to left click column A, right click it, and then you're going to insert and it's going to insert a new column. So down here we're going to type in cell A15 we're going to type count. We're going to type count if and count A. Okay, so over here in column B we're going to use the count function to return a number of cells that contain num... I'm sorry, column C. Cells that contain numbers. So up here in the insert function I'm going to type in count. press go and there's count. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click my ranges here and I'm going to click OK. And it shows 11 which is accurate. One, two, and there are 11 numbers in there so that is correct. It will not contain cells that count that contain text or are empty. And we're going to show you how that works. So count again. And it's going to return zero. And that's because none of these contain numbers. So let's see what it does over here. And it comes back as zero. It doesn't return a this is having a number because this is considered a list and a list is considered text. Okay. So now we're going to use the count if function. 
We're going to do it over here in the community college one. I'm sorry, in column D. And I'm just going to type count if right here in the search bar and click go. It's highlighted and I click OK. I want to count if, um, here's the range. The range is D3 to D13. And I want to know how many equal um, work. I want to see how many people plan to work after they graduate. Just go straight to work, no college, no school. Just go straight to work and stay working. And in my list, three people decide that they're just going to work. Okay, count if will not work in the student name. However, we can go over here and do count if. Here's your range in column C is C3 to C13. And let's just say it equals 20, 20. And seven of the students on my list plan to graduate on time. That means out of the 11, 7, 11, so 11 minus 7, obviously I'm not great at doing math in my head. There are four students that are going to graduate early or graduate late. All right, so we're going to also do count A. Going to click go. There we go. My range is here. And see, it's going to count the number of cells in a range that are not empty, and that will be 11. So I can also take this and drag it over, and it will automatically do these. So all of these should have cells that are not empty, so it would be 11 in mine. Okay, so let's do something kind of cool here. Let's go to count if. The range would be right here. It's from B3 to B13. And the criteria, we want to say it has student. Let's see if this works. It does not work, and I'm hoping you understand it does not work because student is not the primary word in there. Student is just, in this instance, the last name. So there's a big difference in count and count A and count if. Count is um, going to count cells that have numbers. Count A counts cells that um, are not empty. Count if counts the number of cells that meet a criteria. So this example today, this guided practice is like super duper easy. If you have any questions, give me a shout, but I do hope you did take the time to fill in not bogus information here, but actual information about your classmates. You need to save it as an Excel document and submit it for grading on course sites. I hope you have a good day.